Hey what's up Adrian here welcome to this video today we're going to review the 1957 Thorogood Briar Pit Stop Wedge Sole Wear Boots that's a mouthful and uh, for this I invited my friend and uh, fellow boot tester for bestformyfeet.com Jeff to test these boots because uh, he's the one wearing the boots he's the one uh, testing the boots at work on his day job at his day job so he has uh, first hand experience with the boots and uh, without any further ado, Jeff, how's it going, buddy? Welcome. Not too bad. How about you? Uh, excellent. Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah. So I'm excited to um, hear your thoughts on these boots. Uh, I mean, you had the boots for four or five months, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're going to do the six months update on the, on the article very soon. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about um, your environment. I mean, for the for the viewers, uh, tell us what do you do, what kind of surfaces you walk on, and and all that good stuff. All right. I'm a water treatment plant operator. I have been for about 20 years, and a lot of the plant, most of my walking, uh, three, four, or five miles a day, sometimes is all on concrete for the most part. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, concrete or blacktop because I walk between the buildings, but yeah, it's, it's polished concrete that's been painted basically. And, uh, you know, just nice smooth surface for the most part, but, um, that's, that's mainly what I walk on. When I go upstairs, there's metal steps and, you know, all that, that kind of thing, but mostly it's all concrete that I'm concrete. walking on all the time that's great because you know whoever's gonna watch this uh, review they can compare that to their environment and see you know if this boot is helpful for for them or not were these the first thorough good boots you ever had yes yeah yeah i'd i'd seen them before and i'd considered but i was always i've been a devout red wings fan right for about 15 years or so so <laughs> you know, once I got on that, that train, I, they were always comfortable and I, I was afraid to veer to move. off. But, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, in the interest of science. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. That's awesome. That's what we do here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope uh, Red Wing are not going to be upset with us, you know, for <laughs> I, I think steering you okay away. Lose, they're okay losing one customer, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um Tell me what was your first impression when, when you got the boots, uh, especially because this was the first time you had this brand. Uh, what was um, your impression about, you know, the, the quality of the boot, the leather? Uh, you can even tell me a little bit about the leather. It's like getting these open up the box. To me, the style, they're just... I, I was always kind of, yeah, with the wedge, you know, yeah. but I, I think it looks cool. Like with the, the contrast between the, the white to the dark brown, you know, and, and I've even seen the black ones where I'm just like, oh, that, that's really grown on me. The contrast <laughs> between the, the black and the white, it just looks really slick, but this dark brown is pretty close. And uh, I mean, it's got the tumbled leather. It's really nice and smooth and, and uh, even though it's kind of thicker, it's more uh, pliable than, mm -hmm. than like a stiff leather would be. And just the style to me, I mean, it's thoroughgoods. You, you think mock toes and it's, kind of, it's just classic, you know? Yes, yes it's they look like, they look great. Actually, I have my, I have my pair of thoroughgoods here. Uh, yeah. One that I, this one I cut in half already. Right. But um, that's always a heartbreaker. Man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but when I had these ones at work, the first uh, week or so, the, the, the side managers uh, saw me wearing these boots and um, they, they asked me, are those safety boots? Because those look pretty cool, like, um, yeah. like casual boots, you know? Right. Yeah. My wife, I mean, like, I think I've worn these to church a couple of times. Like my wife's like, you're wearing those and they, they look nice i mean <laughs> yeah. people, people wear work boots you know out and about all the time yeah. so, i mean you can you can pull it off they're definitely nice enough for that for sure but i mean i i i really like them the mokto do you like uh do you like mokto style boots or the what style 
Mokto, Mokto style boots. Oh yeah. I, at, at first I didn't, you know, I'd, I'd had coworkers that wore them and I'm just like, eh, it's not really my thing. And, and partly the thing that I have against it is I'm the big toe scuff guy. Yeah, and I mean, uh, this was my this was my replacement pair. I mean, I'm sure we'll get into this, but yeah, this was my replacement pair after having sent in the original pair for a heel click, and and within the first week of having these things, I I went shopping, and I caught on a shopping cart and nicked up the leather there, and it just kills me. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> Oh, yeah. it's, it, I, I mean, hope they look so nice, and then they just get all beat up. I mean, I know that's what they're there for, but especially yeah. when it's something stupid like a shopping cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as these guys say uh, on Reddit all the time, dude, these are work boots. You yes, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But hey, you, you pay so much money for a pair of boots, you you want them to keep them as long as you yes. want, as long as you can, looking nice, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these things are about three hundred dollars unless you catch a sale so yeah. i mean it's yeah it's definitely an investment and that you want to take is. care of them in your environment of course being a water plant engineer you're going up and down uh you know your uh daily tasks and all that yeah. uh, and i'm assuming there's some water at some point that you're gonna yeah. step on you well, know so there, there yeah there is about yeah <laughs> I mean, like, like I said, walking between, especially like walking between the plants, there's areas where, or the areas of the plant, there's areas where there's water, um, you know, if it had rained or whatever, and it, I'll, I'll step right through it. And, you know, it's, it's no care at all. And especially with these being waterproof, I, in my testing of them, we have a little area out front where water sets mm -hmm. and it's like a little, a little ditch. And I went out and I just put my, boot in and, and up to however far i mean the the gusset until the gusset. Gusset goes up to here so but i i had water up to here so um just standing in it for a couple of minutes and no problems or anything but yes there's there's times especially m mostly all the water is contained and everything and and you're not really walking through a whole bunch but there's times when you know people will be doing cleaning or or that kind of yeah, thing or yeah we'll yeah be, we'll be working on basins and for the most part you drain them all down and if you don't feel like getting out your big muck boots you know the big rubber ones then and you're just dealing with a little bit of water you know you can step right in and it, no worries pretty much great stuff and i'm curious as well uh, in terms of um in terms of um uh the the sole being slip resistant or not because of course like you said at the beginning your uh, the most of the surfaces you walk on they're nice uh, polished concrete or maybe painted as well so yeah. it's it's quite uh slick right yes uh, how, how did they perform it, it can be slick uh there's times where i've been lazy at work before and just worn a pair of crocs in and <laughs> walking around and if it rains and and there's water all over the floor you know you're you're slipping yeah, but yeah. The, these are, they got a little bit of bumpage to them, uh, to where they're anti-slip. And I mean, they handled well with everything. The only spot when I went out for bacteria sampling, and I mentioned this in the article, mm -hmm. uh, the only, only place that I had issues with these was in the back of a restaurant on tile floor where, I mean, it's a greasy, there's greasy, just at it, it doesn't greasy look everywhere. greasy, but it, the moment that I stepped in the back of that place, I mean, it was just slip city in these things. It was like walking on ice. So <laughs> that's the one, that's the one spot, you know, right. that I had issues with them. Um, and maybe, maybe as far as I didn't really get to wear these that much during the winter or we didn't get a whole lot of snow. Snow was okay. Uh, there was some ice that maybe they didn't handle the best on, but that's just something to be aware of. But gotcha. and again, what boots do handle great on ice, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's slippery no matter what, yeah. pretty much. Tell me a little bit about the insole. Um, they have a removable insole, which is uh, good. Um, like I mentioned in many of my reviews, um, because right. I need a different insole and you did, you need a different insole as well. Well, I, I, I actually switched back to the original right. um, from the Dr. Scholes. These, I, I, I was trying because I had issues at first 
with the original pair uh, with them fitting quite right. So I, and I'd had those insoles on the way anyway, but they, they're good. I mean, I, I like them. They're comfortable on my feet for sure, but yeah, removable insole. Yeah, for sure. is uh, definitely a positive when you've got different needs, like maybe somebody with a different kind of foot uh, yeah. as far as high arch or whatever. For sure. I mean, uh, I, I was uh, looking at this insole earlier because I had it's the same one that comes in my boot, mm -hmm. and um, it's great for people like uh, like yourself. I mean, people don't know if they didn't read your review, but you have uh, flat feet, so mm -hmm. this is great for you know for flat-footed uh, workers. They're very flexible. I mean, it's like it's not like there's a high stiff arch there or anything. It just goes. Your foot sits right on it, and it's it's perfectly fine and comfortable for me, at least. Anyway, I have been used to wearing waterproof boots for so long now because whenever I buy them, I just always make sure they're waterproof. So maybe it's just what I'm used to. Probably, but, yeah. I mean, the Red Wing boots—they make my feet kind of sweat towards the end of the day, and, and sometimes during the day. And I mean, I'll wear them all summer, or whatever. But these. Uh, and I, I haven't worn these in really hot weather yet, but a lot of complaints I see is from people is saying that the waterproof membrane causes them to have sweaty feet, and mm -hmm. I just really didn't experience that. They were comfortable, uh, for sure. But that's interesting as well because you, you walk a lot. You walk like, what, 15,000 15, steps a day or something like that? It, it can be yesterday. That's ridiculous. But, uh, last night, I mean, <laughs> and, and especially – when I'm working second shift, it's it's like having two days because I get up at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm doing stuff at home. And if I'm doing something outside, I'm slipping my boots on. So, I mean, there's times when I'm out mowing the lawn and whatever else before I go to work. <clears throat> and then it come, rolls around to about three o'clock and then I go to work and then I'm not home till 1230 at night. So I'm wearing boots. Uh, you know, 12, 15 hours a day sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's like I do a lot of walking for sure. They're, <laughs> they, they've been comfortable, the second pair especially. Uh, let's uh, talk about the safety toe cap. And uh, also we're going to mix all this in, in this section if you want. Uh, safety toe cap, width of the boot, and how do they fit? I think it's a steel toe on this one, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's steel toe. It, it ends about here or so. And, and and the width of the boot, I mean, that's a complaint that a lot of people talk about. Like, mm -hmm. I I have normal width, what I would consider as normal width feet. These are 12 extra wide. And, I mean, when I wear them, it's like my foot is bulging out over the welt. And, uh, you know... It, might look kind of odd or whatever you can kind of tell just from the way that they look yes i can see it's uh it's so, expanded yeah. yes yeah quite a lot so, so they're they're comfortable on my feet but it just feels that they're comfortable but it's like a kind of a snug comfort you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um not like my foot's slopping around in there or anything uh, but yeah the width of the toe is fine uh, as far as the way my foot fits in there, it feels good uh, to me. So the uh, the, steel, the steel cap doesn't uh, pinch your toes or anything. No, it's not uncomfortable. No, 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 the the height of it, and and uh, I mean, if you want to talk about this with another boot that I've worn that I've tested, mm -hmm. the design on that boot, the the steel cap on this just goes here, and mm -hmm. that's it. The steel cap on the other one went down a little went bit down yeah that, that's a that's a weird design they did on that it, boot <laughs> it was to, to try, i think it was to try to keep a low profile i mean that's maybe what, yeah that that was a good point when you when uh by the way guys i leave i'm gonna leave uh, links to the videos and to uh, uh the articles that we're talking about here so if you want to check those out in the description or in the comments uh, i wear a size 12d which is medium width in red wing mm -hmm. and these are 12 ee and there's i experienced this as well as other people have complained about this in the thoroughgood group. the inconsistencies of the thoroughgood boots i mean like the manufacturing the the sizing on things is just uh, there's 
might be a lack of consistency being the same all the time. Like I went to Boot Barn to try out before I ordered to see what kind I wanted to get. And nine so, and a half D. So yeah. this this these are my uh, throw goods. As you can see, one is D, one is E E. Ah. Uh, right. So the the you have to have different sizes to accommodate. You know, the first one I bought. Because I didn't know, like, you know, you read so many things and all that, but you don't know who to trust. So I bought my first one, it was D, uh, and then I could not wear it. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's so, it's so, um, it's so narrow here. You know, it's so narrow. And it's a shame because it's such a beautiful boot and all that. But if it's not uh, comfortable, <laughs> I yeah. mean, you'd be silly to wear it because you're going to damage your feet. Yeah. So, I I, I went with have, the EE. I don't have my other boots uh, handy to show the difference between, but I mean, I've got a pair of rock roosters that I'm still wearing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and those are not mock toe, but they are, uh, they are, do have the Goodyear welt. So they look kind of similar, but without all the, the, without the mock toe. And I mean, when you put them side by side, the the rock rooster is however much bigger it's it's got more space i mean that's a that's a wide but it's it's, it's a, a wide. real wide it's a real wide <laughs> <laughs> yes. it's a roomy wide yes. and, there, and my my foot actually you know it, it doesn't look like a bulge it looks like it you're you're able to see the good year well all the way around from the top are they heavy uh what what do you think uh what's your <laughs> thought on that these, I mean, for people that are used to, I'm used to wearing heavy boots and I'm a big guy. So for me, they're no issue, mm -hmm. but yes, they're, they're heavy for, for the pair. They're around five pounds. So when there's something that I do where I go in a couple times a week and they'll weigh me and I'll, I'll be the, I'll do self-conscious about it and say, subtract off five pounds for those <laughs> boots. Just so you know, cause I mean, th these are legit like about two and a half pounds a piece as opposed to another pair of boots that i have that's you know a pound and a half so yeah. they're quite it, heavy it uh do they provide support in terms of ankle heel uh oh. arch yes for sure i mean to me like i i said it in the one article um i mean these these things are like putting these on after wearing slip-ons for a month um, because I was waiting to get the second pair, um, and I'd been used to wearing slip-ons for a month, and I put these on, and they're like Forrest Gump braces, leg braces, because it's just everything, um, me being used to not having the lace-up, um, it's it's all tight. It was tight on my, tight on, around my ankle, and everything, I mean, it's comfortable. It's just different. <laughs> yeah, than, it's a different different than, comfort, right? Different than the level of a slip on because the slip on is just. I mean, I, I was wearing my rock roosters yesterday, the um, VAP twenty three oh threes, and those things. I mean, it's just you're wearing boots, but they're just going along with you. You aren't <laughs> strapped into them or anything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're they're nice, they're comfortable, but it is a different kind of comfort for sure. Um, I I feel supported all the time wearing these things. They're they're comfortable everywhere, um, for sure. Especially the second pair. That that first pair was a little rough going, um, the first week or so breaking them in. But once once they were broken in, they were they were the work slippers. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you we mentioned already a few times the second pair, the second yeah. pair. Yeah. So um, uh, let's talk a little bit about what happened there. Uh, you know, after talking the breaking in, uh, tell me a little bit about the breaking in period. Is there any breaking in period? And then uh, let's uh, talk about uh, what happened there. Why? Why uh, you mentioned second pair? Yeah. So here's the the this goes along with the inconsistencies things on on manufacturing quality and stuff. So. On my first pair that I had, uh, one from the beginning, uh, a complaint that I, I see a lot about is the, the gusseted tongue. I don't know if you're able to see this too well, but nah, the, the tongue, that's where I put a picture. Yeah, you, you have to fold them. You have to have them folded a certain way um, for it to, to fit right and not have it all bunched up when you tie up your boots. Um, 
And the first pair that I had, the left tongue was the leather between the inside and the outside was not just flat. Like it wasn't the two pieces together. One was kind of had some give to it to where you had to kind of move it and maneuver it to get it to match up. And it still was never ever quite right, but it, I got it to where it felt good. So I had issues with the tongue on, on that. The second pair came perfectly fine out of the box. They were like already folded the way they should be. As mm -hmm. far as the tongue. I put them right on and they fit great. No break in at all on the second pair. I put them on and they were great. First pair. I, like I said, I had the troubles and it was figuring out I'm used to tying my Red Wing boots too tight or snugging them up. And these, the trick with these was to leave them kind of looser and just kind of lace them and they're, they're on, but not constricted. Um, and after wearing the first pair for a week or so, there's, there's an area in our plant to where it's all just in, covered with metal basically so the sound gets amplified when you're walking through there it's just to protect you from the elements when it's snowing you walk through there when it's raining you walk through there to to not get wet and the sound gets amplified because it's all metal all around you and concrete on the floor so i'm walking through there after the first week of wearing the first pair and i hear click click And it was just driving me crazy. So that's where I talked to you about it. And you had me say like, oh, okay, we'll wear these for a month or so. And then we ended up doing the return on them, which they, you know, the return went, went well, I would say. And I'm, I'm happy with the second pair for sure. It's, it's been a better experience as far as the boot in general. Mm -hmm. So um, I was in the end, I was happier with the second boot than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> by the way, if anybody wants to check out um, the step-by-step -step process to send back your Thorogood boots, again, I leave your link in the description. Uh, Jeff put together a very detailed um, process through which he had to go through in order to send the boots back. So I hope that's going to be helpful if, uh, if you want to send your, your boots back to Thorogood's for an inspection i would say these boots based on your experience based what when i re read on your review um that these boots are going to be great for anybody that's working or anybody i say most people working on uh concrete floors um nice flat surfaces mm -hmm. um great for people as well who walk a lot like you <laughs> and especially with uh pe for people with flat feet would you recommend them for people with flat feet yeah 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 sure i mean they i have fairly i mean really flat feet yeah and and these are my feet go right in them you know the flat flatness of these i mean it's just comfortable and it works great for my flat feet for sure uh, grateful uh if you work in a warehouse if you work as a mechanic if you even if you work construction mm -hmm. um if you don't mind, you know, getting the boots uh, lift up, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't mind doing that, you're not gonna be sad for damaging the boots. Well, it's a it's a great um, great boot for construction as well, especially if you work mix. I, I would say mix, you know, indoor and outdoors. But yeah, I think uh, we covered everything uh, in this video. I'm not 100% sure if uh, we missed anything. If we did miss anything, please make sure to check out the review uh, article. I'll leave it in the description. It's much more in-depth. We go very in-depth with these uh, reviews. So if there's any other detail that you would like to know, um, check out the article or leave us a comment. And uh, I would love to... Uh, answer it if if Jeff doesn't see it I come and uh, I'll, I'll ask Jeff myself uh, so we can answer your uh, your questions thanks Jeff for uh, uh, spending your time with us and uh, sharing your thoughts and experience wearing the boots uh, by the way guys if um, you want to buy this boot it's gonna help us 
if you purchase it via the links that we provide in the description that's because that's how we can uh, buy more boots and test more boots bringing you genuine information about uh, products that we test on on best for my feet and uh, that's going to be helpful so um, having said that thanks again jeff see you in the next video yeah for sure